name is Becky Gajewski. I'm a natural resources and GIS technician for a regional park agency in southeast Michigan. Today I'm going to give you a little advice um, as to what to include in an online GIS portfolio. I'm not going to talk so much about how to actually build one. You can do Google searches for online website builders and you can learn all about how to build a website. I'm just going to talk more about the content, about what you should probably put in there. And I'll use my own as an example. Um, so to start out with here, I, ha I have a home page that you land on with a little welcome that just talks a little bit about me and who I am and what I'm looking for. I have a, it's nice to include a nice picture of yourself, a professional picture, or just a friendly looking picture to welcome people to your site. The next section I have is an about me section, which is sort of an extension of my resume. Um, I talk a little bit about some things that might not necessarily come through in a resume, just um, from somebody reading through it. For instance, that I enjoy problem solving and I enjoy training people, and that might not necessarily um, come through just by reading through my work experiences and things like that. So this is a good spot to um, showcase certain things about yourself and to be a little bit more specific about what kinds of things you're looking for in a job. The next section is my actual resume, and this is basically exactly what my resume looks like on LinkedIn or in the paper, a paper copy that I would email to an employer. Um, it's nice that it's not limited to an actual paper page, so I can be a little bit more specific. I can expand things a little bit more than I might normally, but it's important not to go too crazy and to make it too long because people probably won't read till the end if it's if they see that it's way too long. The next section is a skills section and this is also sort of a summary of my resume uh, although it's it's less personal and it's more about just the technical skills that I have so um, some of this might actually might not come through very well just by reading through my resume um, I have experience in all these different areas, but you might not know that just by reading my work experience. So this is a good place to show exactly what kinds of GIS skills you have, what kind of analyses you've done, or what kind of software you've worked with. So if people are looking for something very specific in who they want to hire, they can look right here and see if you have the skills that they're looking for. The next section is my actual portfolio. And here it's nice to show a lot of different types of analyses that you've done, different types of maps and things like that. Um, so it's pretty, it's evident that you know how to do lots of different things. So if you click on any of these maps, you can see them a little bit bigger. And you can see a little description about them at the bottom. And in, it's important to include a caption of some kind or, or a description. Um, because it shows that you know how to do analysis, you don't, you're not just making nice looking maps. So um, another thing you could do is maybe talk about the problem you were trying to solve, um, how you solved it, in as brief a format as you can. Um, here I talk about this map is of ecological quality and it was made using an ecological quality model. It talks a little bit about what the model takes into account. So it just shows that I know the analysis that goes behind making this map. It's not that I can just make a nice looking map. The final section is a contact section. And this will just let um, potential employers get in touch with me. They can look at my profile on LinkedIn, or they can email me by clicking on this link, or they can send me a message straight through the website. Um, and this will just give them a quick, easy way to get in touch with me if they see my profile and they like it and they want to talk to me some more. So that was a really quick rundown overview of what you can include in an online profile. And I hope it was really helpful. Good luck, everyone, in the job search.